Hello there everyone, it's Nat here, aka The Wolf of Watertown, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys why I love real estate investing so much. Unlike other forms of investing, when it comes to real estate, there are four key components that help you generate wealth. The first way to generate wealth through real estate is through appreciation. Now, appreciation is typically 3.5 to 3.8% on average. This isn't a guaranteed method of wealth, kind of like the stock market. In some years, the housing market may be higher and in other years, it might be lower. But typically speaking, when it comes to real estate, you can expect the value of your home to increase each year. Therefore, when you purchase a home, you can almost guarantee that you'll be able to sell it at a higher price. The second way to build wealth through real estate is through equity. How I like to explain equity to people is kind of like a built-in savings plan. Each month, as you pay principal on your mortgage, you are owning more and more of your home. So this is the diagram I like to draw to people in order to brief it a little easier. So pretend this is a home. So once you have your home, I'm going to draw lines through it. And each shaded area is going to end up being a percentage of your home. So as you pay more and more principal, you're owning more and more of your home until either the end life of your 15, 25 or 30 year mortgage where you own 100% of the property. I view this as a built-in savings plan because unlike renting a home where you're just giving money to your landlord, you're actually putting this money into the home and then at the end of it all, the home will be 100% yours. The third generator of wealth when it comes to real estate and my personal favorite is cash flow. And I'm a firm believer that cash flow is king. So what exactly is cash flow and how can you attain it through real estate? Well, cash flow occurs when you get renters to rent whatever units you have and they pay down the principal, interest, and all other expenses of your rental property. In addition to that, you get excess money from them renting in there. That excess money is what's known as cash flow. So far, we've talked about three methods that can help you generate wealth through real estate. The first was appreciation, where this comes from how long you hold the property for and just letting time work for you. The second is equity, which we found out is when you pay money down on your mortgage in order to own a more higher percentage of your home. And this can be done through number three, which is cash flow, where you have a tenant who's paying down on your equity for your home and also holding the property for you by maintaining it. And then you also have cash flow coming from the excess money that they're paying you each month. The last way to generate wealth through real estate is taxes. So what a lot of people don't realize is the more money you make, the more the government taxes you. However, the more money you owe, the more tax benefits you get. Now what the rich are able to do very well is take advantage of taxes. And the first is through utilizing interest. The rich are able to leverage their debt. So when you're paying interest, this counts as a tax deduction. But if you're doing this correctly with a rental property, you'll have a tenant paying this down for you. Similarly, you'll also have property taxes, which you can also use as a tax deduction when tax season comes. We also have private mortgage insurance or PMI. And this is something you pay if you use, for instance, the FHA loan or any other loan, excluding the VA loan, where you don't put at least 20% equity down on the property. The last thing on this list that offers a tax benefit is depreciation. Now, as I said earlier, homes typically appraise 3.5 to 3.8% on average each year. However, it's not the actual property that's appreciating each year. It's actually the land that the property is built on that's appreciated. Like all material things, eventually your home will start to deteriorate. For example, your kitchen will not always be brand new. You're going to have scuffs, things that need to be repaired. So each year during tax season, you can depreciate the value of your home. So as you can see, these are the four key components of wealth generation through real estate. This also explains why 90% of millionaires in the world, the whole world, have been created through investing in real estate. Now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know below what topics you want to hear about next.